Hey everyone! Today I am talking to you about fall fragrances that I recommend that are over $100. I have two other videos in this series, 50 and under and 100 and under. I will leave the links down in the description bar below. Today I only have five fragrances to talk about, but that's plenty considering how much they cost. I wanted to make sure that I only recommended fragrances that were actually worth the money, which is one of the reasons I have five. <laughs> um, and today I'm going to start with Idola from Big Beard Business's collaboration with Navitas Parfum. He released five fragrances called the Enamored Collection. Four are more masculine. I think they're all kind of aimed at like unisex. To me, four others were masculine fragrances. This one, decidedly feminine to my nose. First of all, I love the bottle. <laughs> the whole presentation is really amazing. The box opens up really gorgeous. There's like satin inside. And then this bottle, if you couldn't tell, is like right up my alley with this millennial pink. <laughs> um, Idola, I blind smelled this live on Big Beard Business's channel. Um, can I just call him Buck? <laughs> <laughs> or like 3B, I don't know, I need a shorter name. Um, I blind sniffed this on his channel, I'll link the video down below, and it was amazing. I had no idea what the notes were um, when I smelled it at that point, and I've been able to give this some wearings since I received it, and let me tell you, it is a bomb. Like, it's incredible. I put this on in this room in my house uh, in the morning, and I came in 12-ish hours later and I could still smell it. Like I had just put it on, like in the room, um, on me of course as well, but like I was used to it on me at that point. But when I came back in the room, it was like, like somebody had just freshly sprayed it, it was crazy. Uh, this was created by, I have to look, cause I only know Francis Kirkjohn. <laughs> um, and the other perfumer was Jerome Di Marino. So two perfumers worked on this fragrance and it is mandarin and bergamot, I think two types of rose. Um, and then I always forget what else is in it. Uh, there's like deeper notes in it. The rose is really what I get the most of. Um, it doesn't smell like Delina. I'm going to make a collect, a, like a, um, connection to Delina, but it doesn't smell like Delina, but it's got that fresh rose like Delina has. It doesn't have like the um, sort of sour rhubarb note. Mm, no, it's so good. The fruity elements really don't last that long. It's just a lot of rose and it's like fresh rose. I think this works for fall because of those deeper notes, which I'm just going to look because I've already forgotten. Cedarwood, patchouli, and vetiver. I don't get a lot of vetiver in this. I definitely get patchouli and I definitely get woods. Um, the rose lasts the entire time. It starts out very fresh and fruity and then as it dries down, it turns into that like uh, deeper rose, but it still remains very fresh. There's another fragrance, um, I cannot remember what it was called. It was called Eau de Rose by Tadashi Shoji, I, I think. Um, and it's not the same fragrance, but it's the same rose where it was like that fresh rose and then it turned into like this dry rose. Oh, it's so good. I think this would work in springtime as well. It's not super heavy, it's not super sweet or super syrupy. Definitely floral is the like avenue it's on. If you like rose, I feel like you should try this because it's amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get a discovery set from Navitus. I'm not 100%, I'll link it all below if I can find it. Um, but if you like rose and if you like Delina, I highly recommend this one. Not everyone lives in a climate where the weather gets really cold in the fall, but it's still nice to have those fragrances that are cozy and comforting. And I think Jasmine Marzipan from Maison Lancome is the perfect fragrance for that. If you live somewhere where it doesn't get super cold um, and you want something that is very reminiscent of those cozy, comforting scents that won't choke you out, 
this is a perfect fragrance for that. Obviously, the fragrance has jasmine in it, but it also has the sweet candied almond. I really love layering this with my other almond fragrances. I find that it helps pronounce the almond more, but it's so well blended. You really can't pick out any specific notes. Mm, and it's just like light. It doesn't smell fresh. Like some, to me, some jasmine fragrances can smell like fresh, <laughs> but this one smells like decaying jasmine. Like it's on its last leg. <laughs> um, it's not super, what's the word? Heady either. Um, it's just very light. If you worked in an office, this would work great in springtime and it lasts forever. This next one is Olivia Bell Flanker because I can't help myself. <laughs> this is Olivia Bell Entensement and I don't find it an intense version. I actually don't even know what entensement means. Um, I don't find it to be like an intense version of Livia Bell. I find it to be more youthful for sure. Um, I think it has raspberry. I get some heliotrope. It's very powdery. This I think is less sweet than Livia Bell um, and I think it stays fairly linear. Uh, it doesn't really change all that much. I think this, again, is a perfect fragrance for climates that don't get super cold or for daily office wear. Also in the springtime, great transitional fragrance. This just smells like a really nice fruity fall fragrance. I mentioned in my other video that I felt like fruity fragrances were hard to come by in terms of fall fragrances because fruit, to me, really seems more like a spring and summer kind of note for fragrances, but the raspberry in this isn't like crazy bright and juicy. It is um, it is juicy, but it's a deeper raspberry and the Livia Bell DNA helps keep it kind of fall. <laughs> this next fragrance is a flanker to one of my holy grails. This is Dior's Hypnotic Poison Eau de Parfum. I got this simply because I loved the Hypnotic Poison original, which is an eau de toilette. I found it to be strong and long lasting. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, an eau de parfum version. I would love to smell that. I think this is actually softer than Hypnotic Poison. And I think that the licorice is just turned up just a little bit. I get a lot of bitter almond from this. And the Play-Doh aspect is almost non-existent, um, unlike the Eau de Toilette where it's very much Play-Doh. I love this. I think the bottle exemplifies the scent perfectly. It's very like subtly sexy um, and dark and mysterious smelling. If you don't love Hypnotic Poison, I don't know that I would try this one because they smell very similar. But if you love Hypnotic Poison, I think you'll be able to tell the difference between this one and that one. This one, it feels more intimate to me while still being like long lasting and having great projection. This last fragrance, I don't think I've ever talked about on my channel. I wore it a ton this summer. It's from The Gate and it's called Inside Out. This to me smells like an ice cream cone <laughs> with ice cream in it. Oh my God, it's so good. It's got a fruity element and I loved it for the summer because I am not really a huge fan of coconut, but I wanted something that smelled like summer. And of course, what smells more like summer than an ice cream cone? But I've been wearing it this fall because this is a fairly deep fragrance and it is unbelievable in colder temperatures. It's got like that creamy vanilla ice cream and that sweet, crunchy cone. There's no better way for me to describe it. It just smells creamy and sweet and almost graham crackery, I guess. Graham cracker is like a great description now that I've said it. <laughs> um, and I love that this works so well in the summertime and in the fall. I'm very excited to try it this winter um, just to see if it like wows me anymore. This one is, like I said, if you don't love, 
you know, those quintessential summer scents like coconut, anything tropical like that. This is such a good option for summer, but also for fall. <laughs> those are my fall fragrances over $100. I hope you found something new to try. I would love to hear in the comments what's on your perfume tray this season, and I will see you in my next video.